Okay, so just finishing up my work for this week. And then done. And now let's continue watching this Logos by Nick video where I stopped it at a completely random point. Description of the video in case you want to download this and check it out for yourself. Uh, this is just the first beta release. I would imagine over time they will be adding more features. So check it out and let me know what you think in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, Nikki Lo Logos. There's no more fe features. Uh, once we hit beta, this is it. This is this is what Inkscape will be for 1.4. Uh, there's a couple of things missing out of the documentation for the uh, release notes here, but like it's a really thin release. Um, sorry. Uh, so okay, so to explain, <laughs> to explain what's going on, uh, you know how for the last year we've been basically been doing two big projects. Um, one which is the CMYK color pro project, which is what I've been doing. That is not going into to 1.4. 1, 1. It's too big. Haven't even got it merged yet. And, and the second is the uh, GTK4 release, which was way too early for it to be released in 1.4. But that basically means that like the vast majority of developers have been completely busy doing things that are not going to make it into the release. Um, so like, despite the fact that this release is late, uh, like we should have had a release in April. Um, the features are basically like a handful of things, unfortunately. But this does mean that the 1.5 release and the things going forwards will hopefully have a lot more for people to be able to review. And um, yeah, I I think Adam uh, summed it up best when he said that uh, we have um, trained people to expect great things from Inkscape. So let's get into the review. Hello everybody, welcome to this week's update. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer and I develop features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Um, Thank you for joining me for this week where I'm going to talk to you about some of the fixes that I managed to do for 1.4 as well as some of the features that I'm playing with to see if I can make uh, some interesting things um, as well as sort of like the bigger projects. Um, okay, so uh, there's a whole bunch of crashes and a bunch of things about pasting into grids and a few other like minor fixes. I think what would be most interesting is that I have fixed a particular bug when it comes to importing uh, PDF files. So uh, when we did the multi-page support, we did it so that you could um, uh, basically import the pages as pages, right? So you've got a PDF, you want to add three other pages to it, you go to import, it imports pages as three page pages. That's great for that workflow, but it completely breaks it if you have, if you basically want to import a single shape or a single page or a single thing. Uh, and not have it create a new page. So I basically fixed that by adding in the options into the PDF importer to let you specify uh, essentially that you want to it not to create page pages for, for you. It's just a little toggle and what it will basically do is if you select one page it'll import just the objects that are inside that page as a group like you would for any other thing that you've just pasted in. Uh, if you select more than one page what it will basically do is it'll create a bounding box uh, of the size of those pages, but it won't actually create pages, page pages, and it'll paste that group in in the place that you the mouse was when you did the import. Okay, so uh, I think that's probably the most interesting thing. Let's talk about features. Okay, so there's two features that I've been wanting to work on. Um, one which is a, a much requested addition to the multi-page work, which is uh, being able to do layouts, uh, essentially be able to move the pages into grids and other um, more regular patterns automatically, so you don't have to constantly move things yourself. Uh, in previous times, I've added things like uh, the ability to um, snap the pages and distribute them, which definitely helps, but uh, this new work should help with that. It's still in the design phase. Uh, the UX team, Adam Bellis and Mykov, are helping me work out what the best way of showing it is. I have the code written for being able to do the layouts themselves, um, especially when it comes to things like moving the objects, deciding 
which page the object is on is important in this particular instance. And um, yeah, this should, I think, make it into 1.5 for sure. Um, I don't think it will make it into 1.4. As I said at the beginning, uh, features for 1.4 are pretty much frozen, but you never can tell. I'm targeting the 1.4 branch because it's currently easier to develop for. Um, maybe it'll make its way in. It might even make its way into a point release at some point in the future, which will be interesting to, to see, uh, you know, 1.4.1, etc. Um, the second thing, which I think is uh, more of a personal feature, a thing that I wanted myself, uh, which is a symmetry tool. So uh, currently you can align nodes according to, like, say, the line or distribute them. But many times I've wanted to be able to take an, uh, a shape, like a, a T-shirt that I've quickly like drawn out with the pen tool. And I want to essentially make the shape symmetric across down an axis. And so what I did is I added two new buttons into the uh, align tool for the node. The design is still yet to be worked out, whether it ends up as being buttons or whether it ends up as something else, I'm not sure yet, but I'm hoping that this will work out. Um, and what you do is you select all of the nodes you want to be symmetric, and it, it purrs the nodes up across the axis that you've selected, you know, horizontal or vertical, and it moves the nodes so that they are essentially in the same places if they were flipped onto each other. So you can essentially select an entire t-shirt object uh, and press the button and it'll distribute all of the nodes so that they're symmetric. Uh, any nodes that are closer to the middle and are not paired with anything else will be uh, moved to, to, to the axis. Basically they're considered to be central nodes. If you hit the wrong button uh, for an irregular shape you will see like weirdness like this where it'll pair up the cl closest nodes and then everything else that couldn't be paired up will just shoot to the to the axis. Uh, that may be an interesting uh, thing to play with as well, but uh, mostly it's for basically where you have the nodes already uh, mostly laid out, like they're almost in the right places, and this will just help snap them to the symmetric points. Uh, I did have an idea of turning it into a snapping tool as well, but this is another user experience issue. It would work slightly differently. Who knows? Maybe symmetric stuff is a kind of feature that we can have in both places. Um, but yeah, uh, that, that's more of a more of a me thing because I was trying to do a t-shirt design, and I was frustrated by how uh, difficult it was to make a symmetric shape. Um, okay, so what's going on in the rest of Inkscape? Um, Inkscape is currently going through uh, its Google Summer of Code. We have had a whole bunch of new students been accepted in, into the program, which is great. Uh, no guarantees of success that the things that they're working on will um, will work out. But it's great to welcome new people into the project. It's great to be able to see the enthusiasm that they bring um, and also to see what kinds of features and things that they will actually develop with the with the, um, with the the requirements that we set for them. Uh, a big thanks to all of the mentors that actually spend volunteer time uh, to look after and answer questions and do stuff with them. Um, there's been actually a lot of activity in the UX and design team uh, about trying to figure out various other fe features that other developers want to work on. Uh, I do want to give a big props to them. We don't actually highlight their work enough, but there's a lot of work in the background to essentially make um, Inkscape slightly better in terms of its design and polish and its usability. Uh, there are people who are not programmers, who are basically volunteers who are working on Inkscape's design. Uh, and they work in their own team, and they do excellent work. Um, okay, so I think that's probably about it for this week. Uh, more news when it comes to the Inkscape beta release. Um, we do have a new About screen, which I personally do like. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.